Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Anjali who got a rank 25 all India in the NEET-PG exam. Anjali, first of all, many, many congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Anjali, tell us a bit about yourself, your college and which attempt was this for you? Uh, so yeah, I have done my MBBS from Government Medical College, Baroda. Mm -hmm. And this was my first attempt. Mm -hmm. I am not that kind of student who put a time but yes, done it in the last two years. <laughs> Achha. So, so when you say uh, not a student who pamesha padta rehta hai, so does that mean that in the second prof or third prof you were not really thinking about the entrance examination? No, uh, sir. I was just into this university examination ki kar aur ho gaya. <laughs> so, so, when was the first time when you thought ki okay, let us start preparing about uh, the preparing for NEET PG or NICT in a, in a proper way? So I think final year was the time when I had a hit ki like a padna padega. This is high time, and then we had this next wala cheese coming up. Uh -huh. final year mein yoga, so that was a very hard hit. Ki bhai, ab to padna hi padega. You have just six to seven months to do that. Mm -hmm. So so you started primarily in the final year. Yes, and, and you took this exam with your internship. Yes, sir. Okay. So Anjali, uh, is 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 that uh, true that if you want to take the exam in internship, the final year should be very strong. You should complete the final year even for the entrance in the final year itself so that you can focus on the first and second prof or third prof uh, in the internship. Was, was that your plan also? Uh, so to an extent, I must say it because uh, third year, mein, I had done my third prof properly only because okay. it's it a lot of time in the third year. Mein, you don't have anything to do. You don't have anything to do. And then I started with my first and second year, thoda, thoda, so not that diligent enough. And then mm -hmm. finally, year mein, I have done my subjects, but medicine was the thing that I kept for the last. Okay. Let us make a grip over the other 18 subjects because medicine is going to take a lot of time. And I, I did it in internship. Okay. So, uh, Anjali, uh, you got a good rank in INICT as well. You got like 244 or 45 something, huh? Yeah, uh, 244, sir. And then after that, you started following mission uh, schedule. So, so uh, even after getting such good rank, why did you go with that schedule? I think, sir, I wanted someone who can actively engage me into, and I was into that Aini Setwala trauma, ki yaar, I had to perform better. This was not something I was meant for. Okay. So, so despite getting, so you were not happy with the branch that you were getting, or were you not happy with the college? Uh, sir, I wanted radiology as a branch, and that was something I was not getting. Okay. So, uh, what exactly helped you uh, more, uh, Jali, if I ask you, were it, was it the classes or was it the ENDs that were happening? What, what exactly helped you the most? So I think the ENDs were the most integral part, I would say, because I already had the main notes. Mm -hmm. So, I would recall that off. But questions are something which is going to play a very integral part in these uh, MCQ examinations per se. Mm -hmm. So, TNDs and the, la uh, the late night PYQs, that was the most important thing. I hate doing PYQs. I think I know them already and then I mess it up with that only. And that experience I had in my eye and did not want to repeat the same thing. Uh, a lot of students uh, tell us that, you know, this late night PYQ thing, it tends to become a habit. That if you're not doing it, it, it feels as if something is amiss. So, so did you ever have that feeling? Yes, sir, definitely. And uh, we have a schedule like, Kal ye hone wala hai, you'll study about it. Because you'll study about it. Then you get it into the classes and then you do it and it becomes perfect. Like you are scheduled without a schedule. Mm, understood. Uh, and how was your performance in these ENDs? We give ranks. Were you always amongst the toppers? So mostly top 50s, top 100. Top 15, top 100. Wonderful. Uh, what about the cerebellum mock GTs? There were five uh, mock GTs. Uh, uh, did you appear in those? Yes, I think I appeared in two or three and the last two I said, okay, abhi thi, abhi rahne do. But, but, but and, uh, Anjali, I mean, the attempt that was made in these GTs was that it should be very close to the actual examination. So, so did, did, you, did you feel that? And, and did, did those uh, 30 seconds, 60 second uh, videos, did they help you in reviewing the GTs first? Yes, sir, definitely. I think uh, that's a great way of, you know, reviewing the things. Like, you just go with the main key question, mein kya crunch hai, you have to accept that and just go with that. Because la end in me, you don't have so much of time, you know, reading each and every line becomes a difficult task at that time. Understood. So, uh, Anjali, uh, if somebody is uh, in their internship and, you know, this thought keeps on going in the internship, he, is the time enough to crack the exam or should I appear next year post-internship? So, that there are many students uh, who get confused with this question. What is, what is your advice to those students? If I have done it, you can uh, do it the same way. I think, first of all, just change your mindset. And I think the process of this examination starts with your mindset. 
आई हैड दिस कि आई कैन डू इट दर इज नो वन बेटर देन मी एंड देन द जर्नी कंटिन्यूज यूल वर्क ऑन इट एंड यूल गेट इट Now that you say that about the journey, were there times during the, the during this long journey when you felt that probably I'm not meant for it, probably I'm not cut out for it, नहीं हो पाएगा? I think in the last ten days okay. before the DPT examination, it was somewhat like कि नहीं हो रहा, अब अब नहीं पढ़ सकते, अब नहीं हो रहा. But I think I'm not meant for it. I regretted कि I नहीं छोड़ दिया, छोड़ो, नहीं हो रहा. तो क्या आपने कैसे कैसे निकाले वो दस दिन? क्या बोला आपने आपको? बस ये बोला कि अगर मैंने इतनी मेहनत करी और भगवान ऊपर से देख रहा है आई आई एम एम गोना गोना गेट इट इट डू एंड एंड माय अ ह्यूज सपोर्ट टू मी मतलब जब मुझे आई नहीं छोड़नी थी दे वर लाइक बेटा ले ले एम्स इज अ गुड इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आई वाज लाइक प्लीज मुझे नहीं लेना आई वांट माय ब्रांच आई वॉन्ट दैट आई वुड चूज द कॉलेज एंड द ब्रांच नॉट द कॉलेज एंड द ब्रांच वु चूज मी एंड देन देर लाइक ठीक है वी बिलीव यू तुझे जैसे करना है कर इफ यू वॉन्ट इवन एक्स्ट्रा ईयर ऑफ प्रिपरेशन वी विल गिव यू वी ट्रस्ट यू and that's a wonderful thing anjali not not many parents would have been able to do that so exactly so you know, exactly so so please please convey my congratulations to your parents also and you know what we have seen is you know when you have supportive family members it it actually adds a lot of lot of uh, weightage to your preparation uh, because so you know, actually i am the first doctor in my family and um, everyone out there in uh, my family were like ki aims crack kar liya le le jo bhi mil raha hai and i was like nahi we could nahi le da hai we had a five day conversation on this as well but my parents ultimately said ki nahi beta the ko jo karna hai to kar we are with you but you know hearts off to uh, your clarity of thought as well i mean again uh, you would have probably gotten something good in aims but you know uh, sticking for your belief that's amazing so i think you would be coming to delhi now or you, do you plan to go to bombay uh, with rank 25 i think you can get ready anywhere Huh? Uh, we'll see to it. I'm thinking about Delhi because my entire family is Delhi side. Hai, so I'll get so, a little bit support. Lucky, I'm sorry. Allah, sorry, but we'll have a Delhi May event. Hoga, <laughs> yes, sir. Sure, sir. Really, very proud of you and enjoy your day. And again, please, please convey my congratulations to your parents as well. May God bless you, beta. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.